Can you tell me about that story about the man who had a stash of water and he felt like the main water source was vitiated and so he didn't want to drink from it? Can you tell that story and the moral behind it? Yeah, yeah. When the waters were changed, that's what you call it. That's a Sufi story, I think. I don't know its origin. But that... Um, what I remember is that a uh, uh, man who was living in some kind of a, a village or something and and uh, and I don't remember the part where he realized that uh, um, the water is going to be changed. When they get changed, people drink from it, they'll forget who they are. So he collected some of the water for himself, you see, before it changed. Mm -hmm. And then people were drinking the water, they all became sort of forgot who they are. He was still awake. But then you said that the point was that it was too much for him? Well, and then there is the quality, yeah. How, how is he going to live by himself? He, he knows reality and everybody else or think reality is something else. So he chose to drink from the main source afterward? Uh, yeah, that's the story. That he couldn't handle it and he went and drank the new water. See, I think this is part of what is also can be dangerous about some spiritual teachings is that there's the social pressure that seems unacknowledged because we use terms like they couldn't handle it and then we culturally have a norm that no you should be able to handle so and so so if you can't handle it there's something wrong with you i constantly say this that i'm not a truth seeker i'm a truth seeker of how much i can handle and i'm a coward because I'm afraid of what could be true. But at the same time, I used to feel extremely bad about that. I used to until about three weeks ago when I say, you know what, Kurt? That's how you are. That's it. That's fine. Just accept it. I don't think that I'm one of those people that's meant to have that realization. Well, I, think yeah, would... I don't know about that. But you see, I, I myself see that many people will be afraid to see certain truth. Most people will be afraid of seeing it. It will be terrifying for them. But I don't think that I don't, that doesn't make me think I don't want to talk to them. I don't relate with them as equals. I have friends. You know? <laughs> I mean, many of my friends are, you know, people don't not know me, don't understand, don't know who I am. They don't see me as me, the way I know myself. It's fine with me. And I don't have a judgment of them. Everybody is. Everybody has sort of, let's say, a line of evolution for them. That is sort of part of their destiny, part of their, you know, well, what's happening in their soul. And people are different that way. So, I mean, you come back to this, whether there is a judgment, whether there is a hierarchy and, uh, you know, right. values and stuff like that. And it's true. I mean, the spiritual teaching, sometimes they do have hierarchy of different stages, for instance, in the path. But that that is in the path itself. If you are in the path or in the spiritual school, there, there are stages. And, so, and some teaching have stages, some teaching don't. But that doesn't mean the wise the wise of that school are judging the people outside of their school as you know a less than or anything like that you see 